Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. <clears throat> I think I'm going to cover the Latvia show in Riga, Latvia by the Sauerlands that was on Panama Cable on na on the sports and Sky Sports now what makes this amazing is this Sky Sports had a Sauerland show on let me repeat that again Sky Sports put a Sauerland show on that wasn't pay-per-view on their channel what does that tell you? that tells you that things are not going so smooth between Sky Sports and their exclusive deal with Eddie Hearn ha 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 hubba 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 unlucky Eddie now not one Englishman, Scottishman, Welshman, Irishman, or should I just say, not one British guy on that show in Latvia, but it's on Sky Sports, on non-pay-per-view. It wasn't a Pacquiao Mayweather. It wasn't a Fury Vladimir. It wasn't a McGregor Mayweather. It was a non-pay-per-view slot for another promoter that is not Eddie Hearn. As I said before, and I'll say it again, next time that contract's up, it's going to be Eddie Hearn, MTK and Sourland. They're all going to be sharing them 20 dates, I can assure you. Sure as eggs are eggs, that is what's going to go down. Now, whether Eddie Earns had anything out of that show last night <laughs> remains to be seen. I would have said that he did for doing nothing, but looked like a good show. And they had five fights on it. They had nine all together, but they had pullouts. So you've got Jev Genie Jeans Alexi Jevs against Siahi Kamitsky ten and oh against the thirty two and seventeen. Then you've got Nikola Nikola Nikolas sorry Grizunins against Vaklav. Pazar, 14 and 7. Those two fights went the distance. One were a split decision, the other one a unanimous. Then you've got Ricards, Bolotniks, 13 and 5. Stopping Gazan and Gazanov, 16 and 7. Oh my god. How Sky is scraping the battle with those. Then you've got Yunil Dorticus, 23 and 1, beating Andrew Tabiti in the 10th round KO. And you've got Marius Bradis, 25 and 1, stopping Christoph Glaunaki in round 3 TKO. So, all in all, typical Sourland show, really. Uh, but where I'm disappointed is this. Where is British boxing going when Sky Sports, the flagship name for boxing, is giving dates out for shows in Latvia without any British guys on? I mean, what the fucking hell are Sky Sports subscribers paying for? What is going on? Eddie earn has got the exclusive with Sky, but he can't fill the dates. It's got terrible now, hasn't it? It's embarrassing. What's he doing with the McDonald's? Where are they going at the moment? Where are they going? Hey, Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable, but what can you do? 
what can you do it's uh it's uh, all a bit uh it's all a bit sad really to be honest uh, how British boxing is going with Sky I think Eddie Hearn he has raped it and I mean raped it but Bradis against Glownaki, Dotikos against Tabiti them sort of fights they warrant Sky dates but what about all them British promoters out there that have not got no TV or <laughs> what about the young, young and up and coming promoters in the country why can't they be given dates to put shows together? Why does Eddie have to have an exclusive and he can't fill dates? I mean, what what are Sky doing? It's kind of embarrassing, really, isn't it, this? But it is what it is, isn't it? But uh, the Brady's fight and Dortica's fight, top-end fights. Uh, it, do, it did what it said on Tim. So the five... F two, f five guys who won. All, all Sourland men. Five out of five for Cali Sourland. And he managed to get it on Sky. So he's going to be quids in, isn't he? But uh, I'm making Cali Sourland a strong favourite. To get that contract. To, to at least get it and share it with MTK and Eddie. Or get it for himself because... Eddie's putting all his eggs in one basket. But by trying to keep two paymasters happy, it's all backfired for Eddie, hasn't it? But I don't want to make this video about Eddie Hearn. People will be saying that I've got it in for him. But uh, the show, Sowlands, they're there or thereabouts, they're always sniffing about, aren't they? I'm surprised that RTL weren't involved. Have they not got a deal with Sowlands? I mean, what's going on with them? All them years they were with RTL, it's all a bit messed up, isn't it? But it is what it is, isn't it? So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a great sport. Shout out to Castle Conservatories in Doncaster. Bomb bomb.